Hi guys, Kim Jong Lee here, and I'm back with another online commentary battle. This time it's a 2 versus 2, and I'm playing in this one as uh, myself, as the Scipio Romans, and my ally is Arminius, also known as Vicox Beats of the Roma Victor clan. Um, we are playing against Almond Butter, who I think is SR, and Barbarian Bob, who is um, Bubo of the Chimera clan. <laughs> Um, so right off the bat, if you look at the matchups, Greece, Sely versus Macedon and Rome. Um, Rome and Macedon have the cav advantage, so um, yeah, 5 cav for Arminius, 6 cav for me, that's 11 cav total. Um, and of course the only faction who's brought cav is the Seleucids, as you would expect. Um, the only problem for us is the side chariots, so that's what we're going to be trying to keep in keep an eye on this game. Um, if you can neutralize the side chariots, you can pretty much have your way with the map um, with so much cab advantage. Like, as if you push simultaneously, five catters isn't, isn't going to really be able to stop you. He'll need infantry support. Um, so we're I'm I'm looking at these side chariots, and you know I really don't want these guys to be able to get into the fight. Um, one way of getting rid of them is <clears throat> with the loose formation pike, of course, but that's always a bit tough, um, especially when, <clears throat> well, it's it's quite obvious to see the pikes coming, since they're quite slow, and um, that sort of thing, so it's not the most reliable way. Um, another way is for these green archers to get a few sneaky volleys of flaming arrows off, and that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. Um, <clears throat> it's maybe just trying to get some flaming arrows off. Obviously, that's going to be a bit tough if they all die to these enemy Cretan archers and uh, regular archers, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, most of our army's army is made up of infantry and cav. So in the infantry fight, it's actually going to be, in my opinion, pretty good for us. Um, just because the Greek cities here have quite a few archers. I think they have five archers. So they've only got 15 infantry units. Um, I've got 14 urbans and Arminius has um, two, 12 units of royal pikes. So that should <coughs> fare pretty well against the silver shield pikes. Especially if I get a matchup against the silver shield pikes then I can quickly route them. Um, just with the sheer infantry stats pressure. Like um, it should be, it should be enough to uh, be able to route these silver shield pikes fairly quickly. If I can do that and um, route them for you know maybe not maybe two or three units of urbans uh, dying, even uh, if, if that, then I think we're in pretty good stead to beat the Spartans in an infantry fight. Um, in that case, but yeah, for now, just a lot of arrows flying everywhere and. Good move. It's it's good for um. This is mostly good for S S R, Almond Butter and Bubo's team. Um, if these green archers die, that's one less thing they have to worry about with these side chariots, and that's pretty big, because if you if you're constantly worried about these archers, you have to keep the side chariots fairly far back from the action, and you don't want that to be. You you want them to get into the action, um, with the cavalry. So you want them pretty close usually, um, to where you think the fight will be. Yeah, I think we're still figuring things out. This is a fairly old battle, so I actually don't know what um, I actually don't know what happens in the end. I think this was played uh, maybe a month or two ago, so yeah, definitely it's not really fresh in my memory. And it was sent in by Vicox just to remind me that this battle even happened. I'm pretty sure I did save this battle, but I probably just forgot the next next week or something, so I never really got around to recording it. But here I am now. <laughs> And um, Arminius is pushing up, um, which I think is fine. I think it's because, yeah, I think it's because I was saying we had to initiate the infantry engagement. Like, the infantry engagement is actually, I believe, semi favorable for us just because um, the Seleucid infantry isn't very good. We're, we're down on archers as well. So, I mean, if this continues then and all our archers die, that kind of means we can't try and snipe the side chariots anymore with Cretans. So I wanted to push up with the infantry, maybe distract them a bit, but also because I think the infantry engagement is slightly favorable for us, um, in a sense, in a sense that these silver shield pikes are quite weak. Um, if we can eliminate these silver shield pikes, then it'll be pretty juicy um, for us infantry-wise. And um, yeah, that, that will feel good. 
So I really wanted to target down some of these imagery here. Also, I'm looking for a cab engagement, possibly with just these cataphracts. I, I obviously don't want to engage with the side chariots around, but if it's just the cataphracts, then I'm pretty happy to do that. And um, yeah, I think that's what I've been communicating to Vicox this game. I do recall that we were, I was talking to him quite a bit, so it was quite some nice communication going on. But um, yeah, this is what we were after. We were going for a, for a snipe on these side chariots here, and I mean, this is doing just that, and it seems like Bubo hasn't realized yet, which it could be a big mistake if they end up running amok. It seems like he does realize now, though, which is fortunate. Fortunate for him. But as you can see, a lot of swapping going on, and I desperately wanted this Silver Shield Pike matchup um, because I thought it was so good for Rome. Um, it's so much better for Rome than Macedon. <laughs> Um, this, these Silver Shield Pikes, because Rome, Rome can be very aggressive with his infantry, and yeah, if you do that on the Silver Shield Pikes, you can just run them over, really, uh, which is quite good. But these archers have forced the Sacharids a fair ways back, and um, these Cataphracts are also, I think, looking to, lo looking to defend, really. He's not being very aggressive with them, and I don't think he should be. Um, he is down on calves, so if he tries to be aggressive with these cataphracts, it'll be instantly, you know, um, 11 cav on these 5 cataphracts. And cataphracts may be tough, but they're not that tough um, in, in when you're faced with that much stuff. Um, I'm pushing around the flank now, seeing as these cataphracts here are on uh, this side instead. Um, and I want, I want to do this just to stretch him out. Like, my thinking is that if I can stretch these cataphracts out, if I can annoy them enough, then maybe an opportunity will open up where we can take a nice cab engagement with the cataphracts isolated from the pikes. And that would be pretty good for us. So, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, I guess. And yeah, another way to get rid of the pikes um, is to engage them. So that's why I've, I've kind of just taken this infantry engagement here. Um, I think, yeah, I got some nice peeler off anyway. Yeah, I got some really good peeler off as well, so I just decided to take this. Um, my cab does get caught here, so mistake by me. Yeah, mm, doesn't look good. Feels bad. I guess one of them gets away, but the other one, the other one's actually fairly healthy. Um, but I do get one cab killed there for pretty much for free, which is unfortunate. I'll just pause it here then. Um, yeah, so the infantry engagement here is should be favorable for Alvin Butter. That being said, I have gotten off a lot of nice peeler, so um, should be some nice uh, kind of dead Spartans there. And I am just trying to extend him really long, um, just so I can kind of isolate his pike units from a possible cow fight over here. And also because I want to get in and trap some of these silver shield pikes here. Um, from the back with maybe an urban or two just so they can't get into this cow fight But as you can see but Bob has moved one silver shoot pike unit um, Over here to screen off the companion cab. So now it's a bit risky um, But I think Arminius is also bringing <coughs> two of his royals um, back here And these two could possibly stop this pike unit um, Which could allow us to get a infantry sorry not infantry cab engagement onto these cataphracts. As you can see, we're just really targeting down these cataphracts now. These scythe carrots though are in the area, so they are quite a worry. Um, these pikes though could be a counter to them. Um, it is possible. And this cab unit came back, which is a bit funny. There's only 19 guys in it though, so not much, but it's better than nothing. And also, as you can see, the Greek lines are actually quite, like, not in good shape at this point. Um, yeah, that's quite messy. There is, I think maybe he just moved some units across, um, moved some units through, which is why the formation is pretty bad. <laughs> but yeah, this um, this royal pike gonna single-handedly stop um, Bubo's advance. Uh, but this is not good for us because Arminius mean, keeps having to pull pikes off the line, and that's making him quite thinly spread. Um, and also, Silver Shield Pikes are going to like pour through the woodwork now, trying to trap um, Arminius' cav. 
and he's charging in now with his companions. I've also come around the back here with my Praetorian Cav. I'm really hoping to just take a Cav fight now, um, just because I see the local Cav numbers in this area so in our, so in our favor. Um, but also these these um, side chariots are coming in here, and they've actually they actually got into I think what would would be a favorable fight, but they're routed there. Um, maybe partly due to the weight of Cav, maybe partly due to the routing friendly units nearby. I'm not quite sure, but. That's actually quite good for us because now we have just numbers, sheer numbers um, in Cav, and we are able to just manhandle these cataphracts around the map essentially. Um, and also, these Greeks are actually not doing very well against me, which is pretty good to see. And that's why I've brought this kind of semi depleted unit back here, just to do some recharges and annoy the Greeks a lot, potentially get a few routes as well. Um, that could be really helpful. Arminius, though, gonna get semi nice charge off um, yeah I think with with those side chariots kind of dead oh they're not dead they're still alive no I was wrong where were they then maybe they just didn't do much I think what happened there was I got the flag mixed up with a different unit but yeah I think I chucked maybe one or two caveats there just to stall the side chariot so they couldn't get into the fight with the cataphracts and the cataphracts just ran away um, so yeah now I'm gonna take a fight with the cataphracts because I see Arminius with all his cav here, I see all my cav here, and I'm thinking this is like pretty favorable for us. Um, but that being said, there is a cata unit back here, so that could turn the tables potentially. Um, but yeah, it's pretty messy, pretty messy now, but according to my calculations, we should have cav superiority. This pike unit does quite a bit of work actually, just single-handedly routing one of those cataphract units there. Um, it seems like my rear charges with this unit have had an effect on these really thin Spartan lines you saw before. So now my infantry is <clears throat> all freed up and they're just gonna go and help out now. These cataphracts meanwhile have been kind of wrapped up by um, all these companion cav and like my single unit of Praetorian Cav that's left over there. I still have random Praetorian Cav units kind of running around, um, being annoying I guess, um, but a lot of urbans left, a lot of urbans left. And um, with the Cav as low in numbers as they are at this point in the fight, urbans are pretty good. Um, also really nice counter charge coming in from Arminius here to just kill some of these catters, and with the pikes as well. <coughs> But uh, yeah, Cadders lost a lot of guys kind of over here and around this bit you can see a lot of those silver Cadder bodies, um, a lot of them around here and those were just from back charges that like those couple big back charges from the Companion Cav. Companion Cav have a lot of charge bonus so that's always pretty dangerous and um, the Cataphracts were running away so they got into the back there. Um, so in the end that worked out pretty good. Even though we don't have a huge Cav advantage at this point. Um, I think we still have the cab advantage, and the side chariots are back here, which is pretty crucial because if the if the side chariots were there to support the cataphracts, then that cab fight could have turned nasty for us, um, and all our cab could have just died there, and Bubo would have been probably happy to take that fight because the chariot is very very good in that in that situation. Um, that being said, I have lost a lot of cav to kind of silly random micro mistakes, so I'm actually not that good on the cav at the moment. I've only got this one Praetorian cav here. With the infantry, it's just these silver shield pikes left really, and it's like these two units of Spartans. They're just going to get grinded out by the um, by the urbans and uh, royal pikes at this point. Uh, I'm going to try and just take these cataphracts here, and it's going to be a cool combined kind of in sync charge with these companion cav. Going to be able to route one one of the catters there. Um, and the remaining catter <clears throat> is not really that healthy either. It's only 25 guys, so might not be that effective. Um, <clears throat> these side chariots now are going to be not so great. You really don't want to be engaging side chariots onto infantry units, especially kind of biggish ones. Um, so engaging them on these urbans even is not really desirable given how fat they are. Um, and, and, and of course engaging them on the pikes is always going to be terrible. Really nice charge coming in there. Lots of kills. Um, gaining an experienced chevron there for Bob, but um, I'm going to come in with a counter charge, um, and that should kill some of them. Yeah, but um, these Cretans are actually going to go to work on these side chariots now, just as he brought them in 
just as he brings them in from their long hiatus on this other side of the map and they're going to round without really accomplishing much. To be fair, they did kill two of my cab units um, earlier on in the fight, um, which I think is, was really good for them, um, but they were never really able to capitalize on it. And yeah, we just have a really nice surround going on these Seleucid infantry now, and that's going to be the GG um, called out there. Not really much they can do against just the all the urbans and royal pikes there. So yeah, this entire game, um, myself and... Arminius really just worked to neutralize the cab. Um, you probably realized um, a big part of this battle was neutralizing the cab, and I think that's what you've got to do against Greece. One of the biggest pitfalls of Greece is the fact that they don't have any good cav. So if you bring cav, you're pretty much wasting a slot in a lot of cases, and that's why a lot of people would rather bring a Spartan or an Archer in, the, in that place. Um, if you do bring cav, uh, it's really hard to make it as effective as any of the heavy cav, and if there's a big cav engagement somewhere, your Greek cav will be next to useless. Um, so that's why Greece usually doesn't bring cav, and that's why the opponent's team, who doesn't have Greece, usually brings a lot more cav than the Greek team. In this case, we had double the cav, if you include, um, yeah, if you include the Seleucid cav, um, it's maximum of 6 cav per player. So we brought 11, um, and Bob had 6. Um, and we really just tried to use that 11 to take out that 6, and if you can do that, then you can just have free reign around the map. Um, and also the infantry, because it was the Seleucids, I think the infantry was actually quite favourable for us. Um, yeah, because the Silver Shield Pikes just aren't, aren't great. So I don't think you can really depend on them as you would, and um, like for example, the Urbans. Um, I think, yeah, 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 so you can't really depend on them as, as much, but, you know, in the end, um, good game, um, could have gone either way for quite a bit there, and I think, after all the Spartans died, it was kind of just a matter of time, um, unless the Cataphracts could do something truly, uh, amazing, but, um, with all our cav pursuing them, just doggedly following them around the around the whole battle. It was quite tough for them to really get work done. But um, yeah, good game to both Uber and Almond Butter, and um, thanks to Arminius for sending this in.